Hey dolls, so today I'm going to show you how to get this makeup look. Um, it's really more of just like a dark kind of purple smoky eye. And it's raining outside so I thought I'd do a nice dark look, especially since it would match with the sweater I have on right now. So hopefully you all enjoy it and let's get started. So first I'm going to get started with priming my face. I have a new primer which is this Baby Skin Up Pore Eraser and it's from Maybelline. I'm actually loving it. This was my first time using it and it did keep my makeup in place and it did kind of keep my pores really small and it looked really nice. My makeup just glided on it. And here I'm trying something different. I'm taking my Estee Lauder foundation and this uh, True Match Color foundation and I'm actually going to blend the two together and the reason being that my Estee Lauder doesn't match my skin perfectly and there isn't a color that will match it perfectly so I decided to blend the two and I've heard a lot of good reviews about this True Match and it actually worked really well with the Estee Lauder it kind of dilutes the Estee Lauder so it's not so thick and it glided on really nice the two together was just amazing and as you can see it really blended in nicely and the color matches just perfectly to my skin so now I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to draw them in with my Sigma brow pencil you can use any brow pencil but um, I'm kind of changing my eyebrows because I got bored <laughs> And I normally make like a really huge arch and this time I just don't want the arch to be so huge so I'm kind of winging it out a little bit. Here I have my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm just going to prime my lids before I put on my eyeshadow and I'm going to take it about halfway up to the top not all the way up to my brow bone. And then I'm taking this kind of tannish peach color, and this is from a BH Cosmetics palette. It doesn't have the name of the color on there, so I'm really sorry I can't give you that. But any peachish tan color will work. And I'm just using a fluffy brush to blend that out. That's going to be my transition color. And then I'm taking this more plum color, and I'm just going to add this into my crease. Just to give it more of a flawless uh, transition. Now I'm taking this Makeup Geek Gel Liner in the color Amethyst and I'm going to apply this all on my lid. This is going to be the base for the eyeshadow because this is such a gorgeous color and it changes the eyeshadow color into this beautiful purple. So that's all we're doing. We're taking it up to the crease. Once we're finished packing on that color, I'm going to take this color right here from BH Cosmetics. It's kind of like a dark brown and it has these magenta kind of pink speckles in it and I love this color. It looks amazing layered on top of the Makeup Geek. If I were to place the eyeshadow just on top of just my, let's say my primer potion, it wouldn't be as pigmented. So it looks a lot more vibrant once you layer it on top of this gel liner from Makeup Geek. I just love it. So now I'm blending out the edges trying to give it a smooth finish and then I'm going to take my fluffy brush and just blend it a little bit more. Now I'm taking Shroom from MAC Cosmetics and it's just like a very shimmery white. And I'm going to apply that on the inner corner of my eye. That's just going to be a nice little highlight. And then I'm going to take the brown color from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to blend that in with the white just so it's a seamless blend. So I recently got this Ico Eye Duo liquid liner and it says that it promotes eyelash growth with regular use. <laughs> Sorry. It promotes eyelash growth with regular regular use so I'm really curious to just see how this turns out. This was my first time trying it and it actually glided on really well especially since it's a felt tip and felt tip is usually feels a little bit harsh on my lids but this one was just really silky and it's just it glided on so smooth. So I'm going to try this out and see how my eyelashes turn out. 
And I'm also taking this Ico Eye Duo Mascara Lengthen and it's Strengthen. And I thought it was really interesting because it's not in your normal, normal mascara tube. It's like in a squeeze tube, which is pretty awesome because we know how annoying it is when we have to just rub that little brush around in the tube to get the, the excess mascara to get back on the brush. So I thought it was really cool. You could just squeeze it when you're running low and it can apply onto the brush. So I'm taking these lashes from House of Lashes in the style Temptress and I'm just applying that with the dual lash glue. Then I'm going to go back with my eyeliner once the glue has dried and I'm just going to give that finishing touch just to make sure none of the glue is visible. I'm going back with that first BH Cosmetics eyeshadow and I'm just going to smoke it out underneath my waterline. And then I'm going to take Shroom and I'm going to blend it out towards the other color. Next I'm taking this peachish, kind of whitish eyeliner and I'm going to add that to my waterline. I didn't want to use white, I wanted it a bit more subtle. And then I'm taking my mascara and applying that below. Now I'm taking this Sultry Shimmer Cream. I am obsessed with this thing. It's like a buttery cream. And I'm going to use this kind of for a subtle contour. And this thing is incredibly easy to blend. All I had to use was my finger and you can just see what a flawless finish it leaves. It feels like butter. And I'm taking this Cheeky Powder Blush. This is more of like a kind of a peach color. I didn't want to do pink because I felt like it'd be too harsh for the look. And I'm just applying that on the apples of my cheeks and up to my cheekbones. And I'm going back with Shroom and just applying that as a highlight color. That's what I love about Shroom is it's like a multi-use eyeshadow. It just gives a pretty highlight on the cheekbones. Now I'm taking my Vaseline Lip Therapy and I'm just going to use this to moisturize my lips before I get started on my lipstick. And I'm taking this Beautique Lip Liner in the color Current. You can find this at Sally's Beauty Supply. Although one of my subscribers told me that it's being discontinued so I don't know what I'm going to do because I love this color. So once I've outlined my lips, I am going to take this color Lolita and this is from Kat Von D. This is her liquid lipstick. I have been looking for this color for freaking ever. It had been sold out for months and then it came back out I think on Christmas and it sold out again. So I was really sad but I managed to win an eBay bidding war with someone so I got it for 28 bucks. So here is the final makeup look. And regarding the lipstick, if you can't find it on eBay, I kind of found a pretty close to being identical dupe which is Mochalicious from Wet n Wild. It's not as matte, but it's really, really close. It's amazing, and you'll only spend $2 on it. So here's the final makeup look. I wanted to do something different, different from the normal pinup makeup look that I always do all the time. So hopefully you all enjoyed this. I just thought it'd be a good look, especially since winter's still here, and it's just a nice dark look for now. Um, and I think it goes well with a lot of skin tones. So hopefully you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week. Bye!